What's up, everybody? It's Tyler here, and I'm joined by a great guest. He just put out a new single, Day You Don't. I've got Reed Houghton on here with me. Reed, What's welcome up, everybody. Back. Thanks for having me on, brother. Hey, it's a pleasure to have you on here. Fellow SEC grad here, an Auburn guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Thank I know you. you're having a good time in Nashville, and you got a new single out today. Um, what's the single about for those who haven't heard yet? The single is called Day You Don't. And it just dropped today or at midnight last night. So go get that then. What's the song about? Oh, I thought you said, what's it called? My bad. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. Uh, okay. The song is about, it's, you know, it's, it's like the story of like a guy who wants, wants a girl who, you know, is getting treated in all their own ways by somebody, you know, and she won't give the guy who will treat her right at the time of day or vice versa, you know, but in this story, it's about a girl, but, uh, yeah, it's just like a story you've seen a million times, uh, and it it just kind of, I mean, you know, I've never really heard it in a song, you know, uh, so it just uh, kind of flew out of nowhere, like uh, Rivers Rutherford, one of the guys I was writing with, like, I brought the title in, and he kind of, like, had the groove, and uh, just all, like, flew out pretty, pretty quickly. Hey, I like the song. If you guys haven't heard it yet, you should go check it out, too. Um, now, speaking of other songs, you did have a video of you singing – go viral on TikTok. It's got millions of views and yeah. actually got featured on the Today Show. <laughs> Which so. was crazy. So, like, we had no idea that was going to be on the Today Show. I mean, like, our team, like, told me that they, like, you know, pitched it to these news outlets, but, like, kind of just, like, half-jokingly, I guess, like, seeing if anybody would bite on that. And they did. I had no idea. I was like, people on the East Coast were, like, blowing up my phone that had seen it, like, the hour before we were getting it in Tennessee. Um, and it was like absolutely insane, but yeah, I mean, the backstory for people who don't know what exactly we're talking about, like I was playing uh, a, a song that's going to come out in the future uh, to the, to our family friend's baby. And she just like completely freaked out because she had been hearing it before she was born in her mom's stomach, which was super cool to see, but obviously a, a cool moment. And everybody thought it was cool besides us too, which is awesome. So now, since you got the baby to stop crying, is that going to be like a future practice you're going to try with your own kids? Well, they're calling me the baby whisperer. That's a good name. Yeah. Uh, the baby whisperer. Well, since you do have your first single out since April of 22, and you just talked about a new unreleased song, what does the rest of 2023 look like for you in terms of new music, uh, playing shows, and stuff like that? Well, a ton of new music is coming. Uh, I don't know exactly how much I'm supposed to say, but like, you know, shooting to have a record out by the end of the year. So, um, I mean, obviously that'll be singles and whatnot beforehand. But uh, I mean, we got we got quite a few songs in the in the pipeline that are that are coming up soon, um, and just putting more out. So it'll, awesome. it'll be a whole new thing by the end of the year. You know, we'll have a a bunch of product to get out there. So is the title for this project going to be The Baby Whisperer, part one? Uh, I, I think I'll have to put some more, more thought into that. Okay. I don't know. It's always a you, – you could have it in the, the background just waiting if you can't think of anything else. Yeah, yeah. It's always an option. So other than the record, do you have a personal goal for 2023? Just play as many shows as we can, man. I mean, I have a lot of little goals, but, like, the main one is just, like, play big shows, play, uh, play more open and slots, play more festivals, what do whatever. Cause like, that's, that's the most joy for me is getting out there and rocking. So I just want to do more of that. Do you have any artists that you dream of opening for someday, even this year, if you could get the opportunity? Chris Stapleton, but I'll open for anybody. I'll open anybody's show. I ain't, I don't really care. I mean, I found myself on all kinds of crazy bills. So, um, I'm down for whatever, but that'd be well, I think that's the best answer possible. Open for anybody. Yeah, I'm down. Ask me to go on your tour and I'm there. <laughs> I'd love to hear that. And if you guys would love to hear a great song, you should go stream Reed's new single. It's out today. Reed, thank you so much for joining me on here. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me, buddy. Of course, man. We'll see you guys next time.